Well, I thought, you know, I, I was leaning on doing it earlier than I did. Um, but then Rondé had a kind of a nice stretch going there, so that enabled us to grab a few more minutes. And then, you know, you get down to six or five, you might as well do it and see what happens. And we change the matchups and stuff, kind of get him off Aiton and so they can't just throw it in the post and go right at him. So it's good, though. He had a good impact there late. You sort of changed the tempo of the game yeah. when you got him back in there. Is that, again, what you're looking for? That's the speed and... Yeah, I mean, you just got to get your best guys out there, right? And and as well as Rondé played, Serge was, you know, a little bit bigger presence on the on the shot blocking and the rebounding and in the spacing on the perimeter, right? He hit a big three there. He called bank on that and hit a big three. Uh, you guys were sort of flying around defensively. You might play like four blocks, three pointers, but is that just the energy pent up from not going for that night? Yeah, I don't know. We were we were really good. Tonight, I thought we were, we were, uh, I told the guys, man, there were some great, great stretches of play out there. We really came out with a pace and a aggressiveness and flying around and into the ball and challenging shots. And, and, uh, I mean, the game lost its rhythm and it's every ounce of enjoyability there in the third quarter. But, um, so we just had to hang on and we did. We were really like, nobody was having any fun out there. And it was just like, I, about five minutes ago, I said, "I'm having as much fun as you guys, I mean, probably less the way I feel right now." But we don't. We got to. We got to dig in together here and and go play. And then we got a couple stops. And and uh, Pascal made. <coughs> well, Pascal makes the roll. Kyle makes the three. So you know there was some really nice execution down the stretch. <clears throat> I won't ask you about the challenge rule anymore. But when you went out, there did I say it? I liked it or not? <laughs> Before the game, <laughs> let's real. Let's go over that again, Doug. When How many did I lose tonight? Two. Have that first one. Yeah. Can you explain why? Because you were in like the circle out there waving your arms. Well, they saw me jump up off the bench on the call, but then they couldn't see me calling timeout for a while. Selective vision. <laughs> what is it about Ronnie's ability to guard bigger guys? Though? Strike. He's strong. You know, he's got a big base and he's not afraid. And he's, you know, he's he's strong dude, but he's got the. You know, lower half gets down and can hold his ground and not let him move him too much. And and he's, he's kind of quick too, right? He'll jump from side to side and, you know, and, um, you know, even couple that with some pretty quick hands. If they do bring it down, he'll take a swat at it. And uh, not afraid down there, that's for sure. Terrence is looking at a really nice break. He a lot, seemed to have a lot of energy tonight. Did you see from him? Yeah, no, he was good. I thought, uh, again, he, he, uh, the pace we were playing at, I think, was opening up the floor, right? Um, as we were, and, and the thing I really liked is we were throwing it ahead, and he was on the receiving end of a couple of those throw-aheads from the backcourt, and and he just, you know, dude, he can score, man, right? He, he needs us a little space, and and um, he can score. Got us, got us off to a great, like you know, that second unit came in, half a second unit we played tonight came in, and he he jump started them really good. I, I thought kept kept the scoreboard moving pretty good. You had spoken about sort of expanding Pascal's offensive role over these next couple months. Is this sort of what you envisioned, especially in the way he started the game, the way he closed it? Yep, thirty-seven is what we're was what we're after, Josh. Each and every night. No, it was yeah, it's good. I think uh, you know, like I, I say this that like he's got he's got this um, ability to attack the basket. Right, he's got this ability to play with his back to the basket. He's got this uncanny kind of. Once he gets his back on you and turns, he's to the front of the rim or to the side of the rim and putting it in. That's hard to guard, right? So, um, and if he's got any space to get ahead of steam up, he's going to get to those moves. So, you know, they, tonight they step off him a lot to not let him get by him or whatever, and he he makes the three. And if he's going to make the three, then He's going to make it like, you know, he's going to make shoot the ball really well. And and I'm not saying he's got to make, what did he make tonight, five out of nine, but even three out of nine, just enough to to get six, nine, 12 points from the three-point line, then he's going to put up a big number because that's just really hard to guard both in and out, right? The game bogs down. The, the game bogs down in the fourth quarter. Is there any teachable mode in terms of loosening the grip with, with the lead or was it just a matter of the rhythm? Going away from the no, I mean, I thought uh, the way it was going, um, I thought we were probably going to be in for a, uh, 
tight finish, right? I just, um, they, they were starting to make the shots. They were, they were making tough floaters. They were, you know, every kind of everything was, everything was every, you know, lots of illegal screens. You know, there's everything was just kind of rolling their way, right? And it was going to, it was going to be good. But, um, and our offense was really at a standstill. Really was. We just didn't really know what to do, right? And uh, we, fortunately, we changed a few things up and, and found a, a, a spacing and a, and a matchup to go to, our, our attack, and those guys produced, right? We, we cleared, the, cleared the lane one time for a Pascal, you know, roll, and the next time down they were trying to stop that, and Kyle came off open. And, you know, so we found a little bit of spacing and, and rhythm there to get it back and was able to put the game away. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't, I don't uh, again, I, I didn't have much fun out there tonight. Uh, coaching um, wasn't wasn't very enjoyable. But when I sit here and look back on it right now, I uh, don't mind that it got a little tough and tight, and we had to bounce back and respond and regard it and execute it great down the stretch. So it's a nice little um, learning moment, I guess, confidence booster actually. <clears throat> so I'm getting happier as I keep talking here. <laughs> well, you're all concerned about my happiness. 